Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Mythical Sausage. How is everybody doing, man? We're back again doing another tutorial today. We're going to be doing something that's been requested a bunch of times. You guys seem to be wanting a horse stable and I built a really cool one. Let me flip it. I'm going to show you. I'm going to start building it right now. Bam. There it is. Oh, here it is. Hi. And there it is. Look how cool. This is pretty awesome. So we got uh, one, two, three, four, five. Space for five horses. We even have little smaller ones here for ponies or something like that, which is really, really cool. And uh, I like it. I like this pattern a lot. You guys can build it exactly how I'm going to build it or you can change the palette up to any color combo that you guys want. But I really, really like how this one came out. But you know what? Let's get this started right now. All right. So these are the materials we're going to be going with. We're going with some oak log. We're going to go with dark oak and spruce. And that's pretty much it. We're going to bring a couple little things along the way. But let's get it started. Uh, right here, if you see, it's really super simple. It's pretty much one, two, three, four, five, five by five boxes. So five five by five boxes and it's super simple we're gonna start here at the bottom with our barrel which is right hold on i got it right yeah right here uh, and we're gonna put barrels on the bottom you don't have to use the barrel i just love the texture it looks really really awesome uh you can just go with the log if you want so right here let's just put uh barrels underneath facing upwards like this and then we're gonna skip three put a barrel skip three put a barrel skip three barrel another three and we're gonna keep going and then we're gonna do another three here and you can make this bigger too you can do even five by five by five uh well instead of five by five but five you can do like a seven by seven by seven if you want to get really really big uh but i think this is pretty much uh, a good enough space for horses you don't need much more than that for them now right here in the corner we're going to start going up with logs so on this one we're going to go a little smaller because this is like the outer edge we're going to go a little smaller on this one so this is going to be another one two and three up from that barrel on this one is a four up so one two three and four i'm going to cross beam that on that part right there then turn this corner we're gonna cross beam right here and do the same one one two three and four right here now we're gonna turn this corner one two three and then from here again one two three and four more we're gonna match that guy back here and then we're gonna cross beam this one now for the next ones we're gonna do this one this one and that one we're gonna go up by four so one two three and four one two three and four one two three and four and then this one is one two and three we're going to cross that one at that edge. We're going to cross these on the top ends right here. And it's going to go all the way around like that. Then once we get around here, we're going to pretty much repeat what we did over there. We're going to cross this one. So one, two, three, cross beam that one, two, three, four, and then cross beam on the lower level and then cross beam on the upper level. And then we're just going to repeat this part right here until we get to the top cross beam those right there. Then we're going to cross beam right on that one, cross beam right on that one as well. And then we're going to do a bunch more cross beams. So now that we have that frame, let's start doing the bottom frame. So I'm cross beaming down here, connecting all the barrels together. So let's do that really quick. We're going to connect every single, uh, uh, every single barrel, uh, except for the front entrances, of course, because we need a way in. So we're going to have this as our little dividers between each uh, little pod for the horses. So we're going to go down like this, cross beam right here. Right, make sure you shift click it. If not, you're going to open that barrel uh, and then going all the way around like that. Then we're going to grab some fences. I'm going to go with the dark oak fence on this one, but you can pretty much use any fence you want. And I'm going to just put fences going right here on the top so the horses don't um, go to the, the next pot or leave by the back. Uh, so let's go ahead and put this all on the top. All right, now that we have that done, I'm going to go ahead and put some upside down stairs. So let's start over here. I'm going to put upside down stairs on these. We're going to put pretty much upside down stairs on every uh, one of these beams. So I'm going to show you. We're going to do it together. We're going to put upside downs on all of this. We're also going to come inside here and put upside downs on these right here, going all the way around. It just gives you a little bit of detail. And we're going to go ahead and do it on all of this here. So every single one of these beams you see, we're going to come in here. We're going to put an upside down stair just like that all the way around. And then we're going to come this way, put another little bit of upside down. And then after we do these little upside downs, we're going to come back in here. And on the higher ones, we're going to drop some trap doors. So I'm going to put trap doors here, here, all the way around like this, even on those gaps that we missed. So let's come back this way, put them all the way around it's like this. And we're going to just add these little trap doors and these little love these trap doors so much. We're going to put this all the way around like so to add that little bit of extra detail on that going around and a couple more left. We're going to go all the way around with this one. That one's there. We're going to put these around and one more section, which is here. We're just going to put one here, here and there. And that is looking 
pretty, pretty cool. Oh, I missed one. There we go. Awesome. All right. Now, next up, let's work on the next bit of detail, which is the roof. Now, for the roof, let's start out on this little corner bit, and let's do it like this. We're going to go overhanging that bit by one, just like that. I'm going to take this down. This is a one and a two, so three, four, and five right there. Leave it up to there for now. I'm going to do the same thing over here, so overhanging that, one, two, three, four, and five right there. I'm going to go with some upside down stairs facing inwards this way. Then we're gonna go with stairs going normally, just up and down right here. Yep, no, like that, until we get to the middle part. Right on here, on this corner, we're gonna do a little cross beam. And then this beam is gonna go all the way down and let's just leave it right to there. So we're gonna go ahead and come back in here. I'm gonna put some stairs of our uh, spruce right there. And then on this one, I'm gonna do something a little different. Normally I would cover up that beam like that, but I'm gonna do it a little different. You can still do that, but I wanna go ahead and expose that beam. I'm gonna go down all the way here until we get to there with slabs. And on this top part, I'm gonna put uh, just a stair facing that direction. And then we repeat that over here. And then down on the bottom, we're gonna go ahead and go right up to there. And that's looking pretty cool. Something a little different. So you know what? Let me repeat this on the other side. All right, there you go. Mirrored from that side to this one. Now, the only thing I wanna do on the inside here, I'm gonna put some barrels right there for that added detail. A little trap door right there on that side. Then the next thing that I wanna do is I wanna put some slabs here, here, and there. And then trap doors, but this time dark oak trap doors on that side. Let's do it over here really quick. We're gonna go one, two, three, and then trap doors here and there. And you know what? I forgot this trap door right here. Give me a second. There we go. <laughs> so that's looking pretty cool. Then on this side, we have it all ready to go. We're just gonna drop a button on that side. And then we're gonna repeat that by dropping another little button on this side. So let's repeat that over here as well. All right, now let's work on the middle roof. Now for the middle roof, before we even get started, we're gonna do two little bits of modification. Number one, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this block and put a dark oak. Get rid of this block here, put a dark oak. Then I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of an overhang, but let's get rid of this block, put a dark oak full plank. And over here as well, get rid of that one, put a dark oak. Because what I'm gonna do now is watch this. We're gonna overhang this. Now let's put a roof right here with our dark oak. I'm gonna stop it right here. But then we're gonna keep that going till we get all the way down to the end, right about here, pretty much overhanging that. Get rid of that little block, full block, and full block right there. Let's go ahead and do it on this side. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that, get rid of that, stair, take it all the way down, and we're gonna go ahead and get right there, overhanging that bit, and then it's overhanging that bit, looking really, really good. Then underneath here, let's go ahead and put those slabs again. So I'm gonna put uh, slabs every other one right here and then underneath this one uh we're gonna put well this one oh, we're gonna put a trapdoor i forgot that trapdoor i forgot these trapdoors okay there we go and then we're gonna grab our dark oak i'm gonna put them on that one right over this right over this one and right over that one for these here we're gonna grab some walls and we're gonna drop these walls here i went with brick just because i really like that color but you can go with any one and then we're gonna grab some lanterns and we're gonna drop those right over those bits right about let me get rid of some of that we're gonna drop the lanterns right there so that's looking really awesome then you know what let's repeat it over here on this side there you go repeat it on this side everything's looking really really good now let's go ahead and go on the next section now for this one let's start working this up so we're gonna put full blocks on this full block on that one we're gonna go with a stair facing this way stair facing this way i'm gonna go with an upside down stair this direction and then this direction and then on top here we're gonna go with a stair and a stair then this beam is gonna go out. We're gonna bring that back. So leave that there for now and a stair right there. So we have that look looking pretty good. Then let's repeat this one on this side. So full block, full block, stair, stair, stair facing inward, stair facing inward. We're gonna go with a stair here, stair here, our beam crossed going this direction and a stair facing that way now for the middle part here let's do this let's grab some full blocks i'm gonna put full blocks going up like this and get rid of that middle i'm gonna go with full blocks again going this way and get rid of the middle and full blocks going this way get rid of that let's repeat it over here on this side so one two three four get rid of the middle and we're gonna do that again and one more time right there then let's work on this roof so for this one let's go with upside down stairs on every single one of these blocks right there then I'm gonna go with stairs facing inward like this. And then once we do that, we're gonna put an upside down stair on top of that. And then a stair on top of this one. So now let's repeat this thing on the other side. All right, now that we have that mirrored up from one side to the other, I'm gonna come on the inside here and drop the, uh, the oak trap door just to give it a little bit of a different look to it. 
All right, now that we have that, let's go ahead and lift this middle tower before we connect the little side roof. So right here, we're going to go up with a log on this end. So we're going to go up right here, an extra one, two. We're going to put a barrel facing downward and then another bit of log right there. So we're going to do that again. One, two, barrel and put our log. Then we're going to go again. One, two, one, two. We're going to put our barrel and then we're going to put our log right on top of that barrel. Then we're cross beaming this, cross beaming that cross beam here and a little cross beam right there. So we have this all lined up pretty good. Then let's work on the top roof and then we're gonna put upside down stairs on every corner of these logs right here. And this is gonna go all the way around like so. Then we're gonna put some slabs, which I don't have. Then we're gonna put some slabs here, slabs here. Oop, there we go. And we're gonna connect all the stairs up like this with slabs. Now, once we have that, we're gonna lift these up. We're gonna go with full blocks on all the corner bits, just like this. Then we're gonna put stairs on top of those, facing inwards like this. And it's gonna go all the way around. It's pretty much gonna get mirrored now in a second. Then we're gonna be putting some stairs upside down on top of all of these right around here. And then once we have that, we're gonna go with some stairs on top of that. So we're gonna put stairs all the way around like so. And then once we finish this up, we're gonna grab our beam again. We're gonna cross beam here. And we're gonna take this one all the way down. We're gonna cross beam this way. Take that overhanging by one on all of these. And then once we have that, we're gonna put a stair right on top, this direction on every one of these. And then we're gonna come back in here and start putting some stuff down. So I'm gonna go with our full block of our spruce. I'm gonna go with spruce stair. And then we're gonna wrap spruce all the way around like that. I'm gonna do it on every single one of these. So let's just throw spruces right in here. Well, those are slams, hold on. Full blocks on all of these. Then we're gonna go again and do the same thing. So stairs wrapped around all of that. Stairs wrapped around all of this. And stairs one more wrapped around that. Now on top of this one, we're gonna go with slabs going all the way down. Slabs going this way. And then we're going uh, full blocks on top right here every other one to give you that cool little look and on the inside part uh you can really use anything i'm gonna go with barrels because i love them uh and we're gonna go with barrels here one two three on all of these going like this so once we have that done let's work on this other part of the roof right now all right now for this roof let's start right here i'm gonna go really quickly inside here we're gonna get rid of this block and this block and i'm gonna go ahead and do some barrels from there one two and three i'm gonna also repeat that on this side so get rid of these little slabs go one two and three just like that and you get that look you can see the barrel from the other side right there also another little tiny little thing let's put a trap door here of our dark oak we're gonna put trap doors of our dark oak right here just to give a nice little connection so you don't see that little exposed log piece uh underneath the, the stair side so just like that going all the way around and that's looking pretty cool did i do it over here no i didn't there you go and we're gonna put that there now over here let's go with our spruce just like that and then i'm gonna grab stairs and we're gonna connect this stair to that stair with our spruce going down like that and that is looking awesome then on the top here this is what i want to do let's grab this log i'm gonna take this log and we're gonna take it all the way up to that point right there so we could do it again over here take that log take it all the way down up to that point then I'm going to come in here and we're going to fill in this gap. So I'm going to fill this in with uh, some spruce. Fill that in with spruce. Let's actually connect this part so we can mirror that. Going like this. This, oh, not like, oh, just up to there. And then we're going to go ahead and put some slabs. And these slabs are going to go all the way from here to there. And that gives you a really cool connection. But except this part, what we're going to do is we're going to bring in some dark oak. We're going to go with a dark oak here and then a dark oak stair here. And then we're gonna put a slab on top. So it gives you almost like a little ring around. Uh, and let's do it again over here. So we're gonna go with slab, slab. Then we're gonna go with dark oak and we're gonna go with a dark oak stair there. And it gives you this cool little wrap around. I, I don't know, I just really, really like that. Uh, then back here, we're gonna turn this to that side. We're gonna turn this stair to that side as well. And then we're gonna continue and put a slab right on that. Uh, now for this, I wanted to give a little bit uh, of a feeling that this is kind of pushed into the wall a little bit. So I'm going to show you a little thing that I want to do on, in a second. But for now, let's just continue this line and just go like this. Make sure those are connected so it gives you that twist on the stair. And then let's go ahead and do this one as well. So full block. Then we're going to go with stair, stair. And then here, we're going to do it again with slab, slab. We're going to go with a stair here of our dark oak, dark oak slab and then slab right there, and that is looking pretty cool. Then on top here, we're gonna go with another slab, and let's finish this off. So we're gonna go full block, stair, stair, then we're gonna go slab, slab over spruce, 
dark oak slab stair and that's looking cool then i'm gonna go ahead and put this one here that one here make sure that's connected that's connected and then that's connected right there then let's put one more slab right there and it's looking cool but now we have this little gap here but i want to have it pushed in recessed in by one so let's come inside right here and this part you don't have to have it open you can leave it pretty much just just as is but this is what i want to do uh to this to make it look pretty cool so let's actually push that in you can push that in oh, no push that in and push that in then right here i want to go ahead and wrap this around so i'm going to go with spruce going all the way around like this spruce down here and that covers everything up and then up here you really don't need anything i'm not going to have an access point to that but uh, you can pretty much just cover it up i just want it for looks for the aesthetic so just going to keep that going all the way down so we really don't need to use that part at all really but if you want you can have an access up there but i just put it up here because it looks pretty cool <laughs> but if you see that kind of gets recessed in a little bit and then we have that one block gap so let's put a slab right there and that connects to that looking really really cool let's do it over here as well we have a little bit of a recessed in like that that is pretty awesome and now we are pretty much um almost done only thing we need now is to add some buttons so we're going to go ahead and put buttons on this on this on every single exposed log piece that's all the way up here we're going to go all the way around like this these don't have any around here but we do have those and yeah that is looking pretty awesome now little details that you want to do on the inside like over here is what what is what i did i went ahead and put some beams going down here to give you just a little bit of an extra support on that side uh on this one that's fine this one we can actually take it away and put another little barrel if you like uh but then that's looking awesome we're gonna do that on all of these that one let's get rid of this and that's looking pretty cool uh right here i'll probably just cover those uh, nope we'll cover those up now over here i would do something really really simple let's go with some upside down stairs here upside down stairs here connect these with our spruce and then we have that look to it let's do it also on this side so spruce going down like this and then our stairs going like so and another wrap around of stairs like so on this one, we're going to do the same thing so that covers that up that covers that up and that's looking pretty cool on this side same thing i'm going to do this one just a little bit lower and let me make sure i did that one over here as well on this side here we go one more and then what i want to do is to get a little bit of light in here we're just going to drop some lanterns in the center uh it's, this should illuminate pretty good if anything you can always drop down with a fence or a wall additionally if you want maybe drop it down like this to give it a little bit uh, yeah, that's just a little better. You have a little bit more uh, coverage on that lantern. So that's looking pretty good. Let's do one more over here. And then also little things you can do to make this place look awesome is um, path work. Let me show you a little bit how you did it over here. Uh, so a little bit of gravel, a little bit of path block, a little bit of coarse dirt, mossy horses hanging out in here. Throw in some leads here uh, behind some item frames get you some little water troughs here some anvils to fix the horseshoes a little bit of hay uh and just randomly scattered uh all the way around here make it look lived in make it look like there's a bunch of stuff going down uh in here but that is pretty much it <laughs> how do you guys like it this is pretty cool let me know if you want to see any other builds coming up this was so much fun to make i really want to make a lot more of this and maybe different styles coming up but let me know if there's any other build anything else you guys want to see in an upcoming episode but i'm out of here for now thank you so much for watching you guys have been amazing and I'll catch you on the next Minecraft video. Goodbye.